Hello, it's been a while since I've done a uh, Yugi openings video. It may actually have been over a year, or possibly over two years. I don't know. But today I have a bit of a sort of gimmicky video for you all. Uh, as you can see in front of us, I have the two most recent tins that Konami released. Um, on our right here, we have the 2019 uh, Gold Sarcophagus tin which I uh, opened actually a while ago. I can't remember if I uploaded that video. Anyway, uh, and on the left here, we have the new release 2020 Tin of Lost Memories. Uh, as you can see, they're both kind of like themed about, you know, the old Millennium items kind of stuff. This specifically is kind of the box Yugi had. It's got the Millennium Oil and everything. And this one has more of the kind of um, ancient Egyptian thing. We'll take a look at those in a second. So today, I can open up both of them. Um, so as it happens, when I was ordering that, I kind of wanted to splash out a bit and realise that the place I was ordering from had two of these in stock as well. So I thought, hey, you know what? Why don't I really uh, be wild and get this too? Hang on, be right you. All right, sorry about that. That was uh, very well packaged here. I will give it a Konami. Their plastic is, is, is thick. Um, yeah, so we'll have a quick look at the tin. It's very nice. Um, as I said, I've bought one already, so I've got one upstairs, but uh, two, you know, never really hurt. And that is the top there. And at the bottom, it does explain uh, if I can get it all in focus. So it comes with three mega packs, um, and then there's five additional cards. So two of those cards out of six are ones. Um, cr uh, Illustrated by Kazuki Takahashi, the uh, original manga car of Yu-Gi-Oh, I believe. Uh, one of three of them are kind of like new world premiere cards. I say they're new, I mean the, this is new last year. And then the other two of five are ones that Yu-Gi uh, would have used in the original Yu-Gi-Oh series. So they come, they all come in their own separate small uh, promo pack thing. I'm going to move my camera a little bit here, crack this open, and there we go. So, a nice plastic bundle, and there's this soft plastic that really smells. Every Yu-Gi-Oh product I've opened has had really weirdly stinky plastic. Uh, it's very strange. So I'm going to put that over there to the side, and we're going to open up this small plastic bag, so that we can open up the smaller plastic bags. Then we can look at some cardboard. Okay, so we've got the three mega packs. Uh, we'll go through those in a second. But first, we have the promo cards. I believe uh, two of them are ones illustrated by Takahashi. Then there's one which is like the special world premiere and the two ones Yugi is known for doing. So I've pulled Obelisk and something else. I can't. I can't remember. We'll we'll see anyway if they're like the ones I recognise or not. A um, few guys. They're all kind of new though, unless you've opened these, in which none of them are new. So, hey, first we begin with Neo Kaiser Glider. So this is one of the Takahashi illustrations. That's a nice looking card there. Very cool. And the second. Oh yay! There we are. And the second one is a Palladium Oracle Mana. Which apparently I heard somewhere is kind of the equivalent of like a dark magician or uh, magician dark magician girl, I guess I suppose. Very interesting. So what's going to be our world premiere? It is going to be Nibiru, the primal being. Uh, isn't Nibiru from like a weird cult or religion or something? No, I think there's something else. I don't know. So what are the two Yugi cards going to be? We have, ooh, Slife of the Sky Dragon, very nice. So I believe I pulled Ra and Obelisk, maybe? So, man, if I can get Regeki or Monster Reborn, which are the other two, I would be... Ooh, wait, no, okay, no, I didn't pull Obelisk then. Because I don't want to recognise this out, but that is cool. Yo, okay then, wow, so I've got all three God cards now, because I pulled Ra on the last one. And uh, Monster Reborn, maybe? I, I can't remember what I got in the last time. But yeah, that is pretty darn cool. I'm very pleased with my pulls there, because none of them were doubles, which is quite rare. 
So I'm going to put this to the side. Also, I'm going to quickly get at the list of cards in here, because I'm kind of curious about what's the rare and, you know, what's the more common secret rares, so BRB. All right, I'm back. So I've uh, looked up the prices briefly. Um, so as it happens, actually, the, there's not many valuable cards uh, in this in terms of sort of the, the big super rare ones. Um, but I looked them up anyway. So the the two that we're really looking for is Boral Sword Dragon, which is about worth sort of the most. I think it was $17. Uh, and then we got Called by the Grave, which is worth about $10. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to sell them anyway. Generally speaking, I'm kind of casual when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. But I, once a year, I like to sort of splash out and stuff. So we've got these now. I don't understand Yu-Gi-Oh very well. I, I kind of vaguely know the meta, but I don't really keep up to date with it. So we're going to go through this pack regularly, and then I'm going to try and organise it so that the exciting things are at the back of the next two packs. So, we have Link Devotee, which I believe I have Link Disciple from Shonen Jump, um, a hollow, there was like a promo years ago, in the Japanese version. We've got Mythical Institution, very nice. Oh, very cute, we've got Terrifying Toddler of Torment. He does look terrifying, and like a toddler. We have Goki o uh, Octo Stretch, very interesting, we an Octopus Man, cool. We have F.A. Dark Dragster. I, uh, I don't know what F.A. stands for, but I did look it up once. I want to say full art, but that is not the case. That is the wrong trading card. We have a Cupid Volley. Very cute. She is a very cute Cupid. Aha, we're on to the rare, which is Crusadia Revival. That's pretty cool artwork, yo. Obviously works with the Crusadia cards, I think. I think Crusadia is... Is an archetype. Hey, we got Thunder Dragon Fu Thunder Dragon Fusion, which looks like polymerization, basically. I think that was kind of what they were going for. Nice. Okay, so a uh, super rare or whatever. Um, oh, yo, it's Pearl Sword Dragon. Okay, cool. Hey, there we are. So we we've pulled we've pulled the rarest card. Basically, uh, I mean, technically speaking, if I was to sell this card, I'll, I'd almost just pay for the the box itself. That is pretty cool, though. Definitely going to be holding on to that. Um, I know I've got Borrelord Dragon as well, which I'm guessing is like different. Um, and the last one is Sky Striker Ace Kagari. Uh, ooh, yo, okay, I really like that artwork. That is very, it's very like Azua Lane meets. Devil May Cry, if that makes sense. That is, uh... so we're gonna we're gonna see now how many cards. So this is the secret rare. This is like prismatic or whatever it's called. Um, so we're gonna see how many cards are after this, so we can do the card trick next time. We have Crusadia Crawler, spelled with a K, because it's crazy. We've got Vampire Scarlet Scourge, very cool, very uh, Castlevania. We've got Bravo Fighter for Hire, or Bravo Fighter for Hire? Wait, yeah, no, okay. That's that's a very weirdly phrased card. Interesting. We've got a white stingray. Very cute. It's a stingray, but it's white. Ooh, Austin Ostinato. Okay, no, not sure exactly what that is. Man, the text on Yu-Gi-Oh cards, um, it's so in-depth these days that kind of, it's, uh, I, I don't even bother to read it most of the time. And I think this is the last one, Alvis of the Nordic Alpha. He is very angry, but also very, very cute. Could be a Pokemon in sort of two or three gens time. E Link Do Devotee. Right, and I'll go quickly count the cards then, just to make sure I know what everything is, and I'll be right back. All right then, so I'm going to put that there. I have counted, so it seems I'm going to do the... Uh, I, I'm going to do the Pokemon card trick, basically, which is where you sort of put uh, a certain amount of cards on the back to the front, and we go from there, and then every pack ends on the highlight, um, because it's the, like, ultra rare, secret rare, I think it's called. I don't know. Um, right, so it's six to the front, I believe. Two, three, four, five, six to the front. Uh, that is indeed six. I haven't messed it up. Please don't be the secret rare. You are not. Fantastic. 
So, we begin with Vampire Domination. Very cool. That's some sick artwork, man. That's another reason I buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards every year, just because, like, ah, it, the, the artwork, and I kind of like how they're all in their own categories and stuff as well. We have World Dino Wrestling. I would definitely tune into that if that was a TV show. Hey, we've got a Vampire Retainer, very heavy with the Vampire cards in 2019, I suppose. We've got the Revenge of the Normal. I, I, I won't, I won't lie, um, looking at all of those, they do not, if I had to categorise all five of those things, I would not categorise them as normal, but okay. Got a Mystric Hulder. I can say Hudler then, or a Hudler. Uh, we have a Dino Wrestler Cara Caratera. That's, whoa, I didn't realise that Dino Wrestling was like a subcat. Wow, I. Damn, you know that this is kind of making me want to play like an online version of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I am I'm not dropping the money to make decks and stuff. Um we got a Goki face turn, which is very dino wrestler heavy as well, I'm guessing, because that looks like a wrestling ring. We've got a three trolling trolls. Ah, oh, I've heard of this card. I, I I'm aware of the trolling trolls. I think the they they have a kind of like story going on, don't they? As a lot of sets do actually. We've got a Transfamilia, very cute, very um, Alice in Wonderland kind of looking stuff there. E ooh, background dragon. Yo, for a background dragon, he's really cool looking. I think he should be a forefront dragon. Looks a bit like a really rided out War Greymon from Digimon. Uh, Waking the Dragon, we've all been there. I don't know what that, what Waking the Dragon means, but you know what I mean. Uh, so I were no, still going. Okay, we will hit the rare eventually. I think we've got a psychic ace who's like flying. A now I do remember there's some Greedius cards, aren't there in Yu-Gi-Oh? Because Greedius is made by Konami, um, as is Yu-Gi-Oh. And I, I man, I love Greedius. It's such a good game. We've got a uh, celestial observ observ observatory. Very cool. Very very Mayan. Uh, we've got a do a little chimera. That's mm, that's that that he, he ain't looking good, is he? he? He looks like he's on his last pause there. To be on, is he like a bat, a cat, and a pony or something, or a horse? I don't know. No, nope. we've got beat bladesman for hire. Ah, yes, the fur hires. So they're kind of like, for want of a better word, furries that are, are like mercenaries or something. I don't know, I, I quite like the artwork and stuff though. It, it's pretty cool. They kind of like embrace the slightly edginess of it. Ooh, and I will like the, the, the big one is uh, Danger, uh, Danger Chupacabra, which is, man, that is, Jesus Christ, that is a trip of a bit of artwork there. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. Um, this is kind of the best I can get at the moment. But hopefully you guys can see this at home. Hey, there we are. Cool. Now I know there's Danger Bigfoot. Um, that's one of the top ones, I believe, in these packs as well. And also, so I don't think it's in this tin, but I have seen lots of um, pictures of Danger, Danger Tsukiyomi or something, Tsukiya. It's the, it's the snake. It's the cute pink snake boy. Um, so I I don't think it is in these packs, unfortunately. So I ain't gonna pull any. But you know, one maybe one day I'll treat myself to buying singles just because I like the art. Right, here's our final pack. Can we like pull Danger from the Grave? Is it Danger from the Grave? I think it is. Um, let's begin with Gladiator Beast Dragasis. Dragasis? Okay. Oh wow. Yo, I'm really liking him. He's a Link monster, obviously, because he's blue. Hey, we've got another Dino Wrestler, um, Capoeira, Capoeira, Capoeira Raptor. Wow, that took me a while. So it's a Capoeira practicing Raptor. C cool, okay then. Uh, we got a Salaman Great Mia, very nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking all the sort of like armoured dinosaurs and stuff. It, it's very weird, it's very Yu-Gi-Oh. We've got a Sinet Fusion. Very nice. Uh, again, reminiscing a bit of polymerization. I think that's what they're kind of going for. We've got a Crusadia Spatha. Very nice. I haven't pulled many um, 
many doubles so far. Hey, a Vampire Familiar. Very nice. Quite a quite a decent amount of Vampire cards. I think I remember pulling it in the last one I opened as well. You have an FA Overheat. So FA you seem to be like all vehicles and stuff, which is really cool. I, I like that gimmick. We've got a Sim Tablet. Sim, yeah, Sim Tablet. I don't know what either of those words mean. It looks a bit like a tapir, I suppose, like a tablier, tablet, tab, because he's cyber, I don't know. We've got a Sinek Ritual. Maybe the tablier is linked to the Sinet archetype, I don't know. Uh, oh, no, I thought this was the rare, but no. Paladin of Storm Dragon. Yo, look at him. He's pretty good. Oh, and is that like a... A version of Blue Eyes. Uh, it's not obviously not Blue Eyes, but it is one of the many thousands of varieties of Blue Eyes, I have no doubt. We got a Trickstar Nightshade. Very cute. Uh, Trickstars are, I believe, cute anime girls, uh, which are very popular. I mean, the, the archetype and cute anime girls in general. We've got a World Legacies Corruption. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about the World Legacy there. Uh, oh, our rare... And it is indeed the rare, is Staring Contest. Look at those girls. They're staring at each other. She's not too happy about it, though. Um, the rest are kind of staring at each other, though. And that's cool. So, uh, oh, yo, hello. We have Raven Dread e Executor. Yo, okay then. Very nice. Uh, again, these cards could be completely useless and no one plays them. But I don't care, man. The ah the like the art and stuff. We got a Dan oh Danger Bugfoot. Hey, there we go. Cool. So he was in like the top five or something. Again, these cards aren't like super valuable, but you know that's that's pretty cool. I'm really liking their version of Bigfoot there. So Danger, aren't they like kind of like kaiju's? No, am I wrong? I'm probably am wrong. And we will end on a Mana Dragon. Zunitron. Zunitron. Okay. Yo, like, honestly, the detailing and stuff on, like, the artwork, even though it is hard to kind of tell what's going on, because, well, that that is super fancy Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff for you. Um, that was really cool. Yeah, really digging that. Um, I'm glad I, I uh, got the Danger Bigfoot as well, because I was curious to see what that looked like. So that wraps up for the Gold Sarcophagus 2019 tin. I'm going to put everything to the side now, and then I'm going to grab the 2020 tin of Lost Memories, and we'll kind of compare and contrast, because the point of this video is just like, versus, but there's, there's no clear winner. Anyway, see you in a minute. All right, so we've got the 2020 tin in front of us, so I'm going to just crack this one open. Ooh. That came open a bit easier. So um, between... Uh, between Cuts. Um, basically, I, I tried to look up um, a set list, but unfortunately, TCG Player doesn't seem to have the thing yet. Uh, so we'll have a quick look. So the top is really cool. Um, it's obviously the thing from the anime where like uh, Yami and Yami Yugi and like old Kaiba. I can't remember what the Pharaoh's real name is, and I'm very sorry. But let let, let me know in the comments. It's it's in the back of my mind, but I genuinely can't think of it. But yeah, so um, so we've got the thing there, and the side is all kind of uh, that's embossed, which is nice. And there's kind of like a dip, if that makes sense. So it's an inverted embossed thing of um, the Millennium Puzzle. It's very cool. Uh, actually, if I take off the packs for a second, we'll look at the bottom. So there's this slightly weird thing they've done here. Um, so instead of, you know, that pack of, like, five promo cards from last, um, well, from the last in, they've taken out um, small promo card things, but it seems they've added one more card to each pack, and you're guaranteed to get two ultra rares now, which is interesting. Um, so Sorry, there's going to be one prismatic secret rare, two ultra rares, two super rares, and then one rare and 12 commons. Which is kind of interesting. Um, I guess the prismatic is in in place of the sort of uh, extra promo pack kind of thing. So instead of having you know in a two and six chance, maybe they could make the pool a little bit bigger. And I do know there are four new cards apparently. I'm gonna read them off screen, but I'm gonna sound really natural. 
Four cards I uh, keep an eye out for is Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, which I'd really like to pull, because I think that's the, like, hyped one. Success us all, Strength in Unity, and Destined Rivals. So I'm guessing Destined Rivals is maybe going to be these two, because they are Destined Rivals. Um, and yeah, and I saw, as I said, I think there's one extra card in these packs compared to the other tin, which is kind of interesting. So, as with before, because I'm not sure exactly um, how these are set out, we're going to open one regularly without doing a card trick, because I feel like, because I've added an extra card, if I put like six to the front, I may end up showing the Prismatic Rare or something. Um, I'm guessing we'll be able to tell the Prismatic Rare from the other stuff, because it'll look prismatic. Um, <clears throat> and as with the other one, I don't know many of these card archetypes, so I'm just going to make weird, stupid comments on them. Let's begin with Marine Cess Sea Star. Very cute. She is a marine princess, obviously. Ooh, next up we have Madolce Petting Cosser. Wow, that's a, that's a very long name. Um, she seems like a magical girl who really likes her sweets or something. That's kind of cool. Uh, next up we have Guard Dragon Co Awakening. Cool, that is a trap card. Um, and probably works with guard dragons. Is that a kind of archetype? Probably. We've got a Time Thief flyback. Very nice. That probably is Time Thief a, um, a category. Who even knows? Hey, there we are. We've got a card, uh, guard dragon Andrik. Very nice. So, yeah, guard dragons is a um, type. Very nice. That's, damn, that's some cool art. I know usually I've watched a lot of openings and people just, like, tear past the uh, commons and stuff. If you're really into Yu-Gi-Oh, you've probably skipped this already. So, oh, yo, we got more di Dino Wrestlers. Okay, I'm glad to see they're coming back. Uh, Dino Wrestler Terra Parkourio. Okay, he's he's pretty cool. Uh, Parkourio. I don't know what exactly that's a combination of the two words. Oh, so we've got a rare, and this is Witchcrafter Madame Ver. Very cute. Okay, wait, is this the prismatic? No, no, this can't be prismatic, is it? I don't know. Uh, next up, we've got Evil Eye Mesmerism. Very cool, another trap. Uh, a guy looking into a void, or just walking out of a void. It's kind of hard to tell, because everything is hollow. Next up, we have Witchcrafter Golem Aruru. Very cute. Uh, another, basically another load of anime girls uh, who can do magic, basically, but this time they're witches. Uh, next up, we have No Material, as in No Material, but it's No Material. I don't know exactly what the thing of this card is. It's very cute, though. Um, yeah, and I'm guessing with a zero attack, it's got some kind of weird effect. Maybe it uses, like, um, magic or traps in your hands or something. I do not know. Hey, another witchcrafter. Witchcrafter Hain. Very cute. Um, I don't know, I say cute. Maybe cute's not the word. Very cool. Very sort of, like, uh, very, very over-the-top anime. So are we getting the prismatic rare after this, I wonder? Um... Oh, no, okay, no, so we're just back to... So maybe is this prismatic? I'm not sure which one's prismatic, to be honest. Let me know in the comments. Because uh, this is just the regular rare, which is aloof alpine. Um, oh, sorry, aloof lupine, not alpine. Uh, yeah, he does look an, like an aloof wolf, to be fair. Uh, which is fair enough. We've got a gladiator beast united, which is a spell card that... Works with gladiator beasts, oh, uh, probably. Hey, witchcrafter draping, very nice. I'm going after the witchcrafter cards, I think. I'm not going to do anything with them, but ooh, hey, we got a desert locust, and it's one of those white cards that I swear I do know what it is. A uh, tuna, that's the one. Hey, there we are. I'm glad it said because it genuinely left my mind. Hey, desert locust. I like the look of tuna cards. I know, like, they're basic and stuff, but. They're just really cool. Hey, and we're back to Marine Marine Cess Sea Angel. Okay, cool. So as with last time, I'm going to count how many uh, common cards were behind the rares and stuff, and I'll know for next time. So BRB. 
Hey, I'm back again, so I made a mistake. Um, <laughs> so this isn't the end of the pack, actually. I pulled another Marine Cess, uh, so Sea Angel. I thought it didn't quite sound right, and then I saw this guy, Monk of the Tenil, and I was like, yo, I don't remember his art, and that's because I, I hadn't seen him yet. So that is Monk of the Tenil, another Link Pop monster. And we've got BES, Blaster Cannon Core. It's not what BES stands for, guys. That would be BCC. Um, very cool. It's Man, it is a very high-level monster. Oh, my God. That is uh, 9. Level 9. God damn. And now we're back, we're back to Marine Cess Sea Star. So, uh, now we're actually going to come to packs of BRB. Okay, so I've had a look. I reckon maybe Hain is the... Um, is the prismatic rare because it seems the blingiest out of all of them so i'm actually going to put seven to the front we'll start with the rare go through the commons and then we'll end on the prismatic rare it's a bit of a weird way to do it but i think it'll work out quite well maybe so it's seven to the front but that will start us off with a rare which is fine with me unless secretly aloof lupine was actually the prismatic rare but just meant to look like a rare. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's start with a rare. Please don't be prismatic. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So, let's begin with a chain haul. Oh, okay, interesting. Kind of like a black hole, but not. Uh, next up, we have Vessel for the Dragon Cycle. Yeah, Dragon Cycle. Okay, cool. I thought I'd misread that, that then. Is the dragon... Wait. Yeah. Uh, is the dragon cycle like a bike or something? I don't understand. We have Draw Discharge. Very nice. Marine Cess Snow. Obviously to go with the Marine Cess cards. We've got a je Jelly Cannon. Cool. Sounds deadly and scary. A Marine Cess Current. Uh, very, very water... It's picking that up as a face. What the hell are you doing, camera? Okay. Um, next up, we have Ran Ryu. Oh, I remember the Ryu cards. Didn't look that cute, though. Is this a Thunder Dragon? I hear Thunder Dragons are big now, or something. We've got a Dino Wrestler Giga Spinosavate. Hey, I said that without having to stop. Yo, he's cool. And again, he is a tuner. No, Synchro, not tuner. Okay, well, they're kind of the same thing, I think. Um... Yeah, very nice. Okay, cool. Always happy to get Dino... Wait, is that Bigfoot? Uh, Danger, Feats of Strength. So I think that's Danger Bigfoot, isn't it? From the last card. Uh, obviously, he's just featuring in this spell for Danger cards, I suppose. Eee, we've got a Dino Wrestler, Eskrimamenchi. Cool. Okay, he looks like a Grappler. But also a Diplodocus or something. It's a, it's a interesting one. We have a Tenyu Spirit, Mapura. Mapura does sound like a Godzilla monster, which is cool. Uh, we Salamangrit Resurience. Resurience? Recurience. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've never seen that word before. Okay, never mind. Uh, hey, we've got that one again. Uh, Madolce Petting Gesser. Okay, there we are. She's enjoying her cakes. Hey, there we are. So we've got Astra Ghoul. Z, ghouls, not just ghoul. Ah, oh, they're like the trolling trolls, but they're they're not. They're astral or something. E, we've got a, an infinite track trencher. Yo, okay then. Look at that. That's really cool, man. If it wasn't for the fact that all of these cards rely on like archetypes and stuff, I'd maybe throw to uh, together a deck, but it's not going to work unless I spend some money. We got. Witches Strike. Very interesting. Don't know exactly what the witch is doing or why they're on strike. But, you know. Uh, is this a prismatic? No. Uh, we have an Abomination's Prison. Damn. Okay. These spell cards are looking crazy. I really like hollow spell cards. I don't know why. So this is going to be a prismatic. And it is World Legacy Monstrosity. God damn. So the reason I say it's prismatic is like that. And the sort of, like, see that hollow pattern there? Looks kind of prismy, doesn't it, I think? But yeah, World Legacy Monstrosity, look at that. That is really cool. Also, I'm going to put these in a binder and stuff, and not just, like, leaving them in the loose pack and 
Chain hole. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, we did all. Oh, thank God. I was like, wait, have I, uh, have I messed this up again? But no. Uh, yeah, I am going to put these in a binder and stuff, because I always do. Even if I don't have like a ton of cards in the set, it's still nice to look over them. So we've got one more pack to get the Red Eyes Dragoon. Will we? No. Statistically speaking, uh, I managed to get the most uh, valuable one from the Gold Sarcophagus tin, though. Barrel Sword. So that was kind of cool. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is seven, isn't it? Uh, yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's begin with the rare. Oh, yeah. We've got Valkyrie Viert. Vierte? Okay, she's got a horse and she's a Valkyrie. And I know Valkyrie's an archetype. See, I am paying attention. We've got an evil eye confrontation. Oh, it's kind of like the staring contest, except it's more evil and less anime girls. Hey, an Infinitrack Crab Crane. Okay. Really liking this. Very like Mad Max, but far flung future. Not like dystopian or something. We have a Marine Cess Wonder Heart. Very cute. So they're like water magical girls, basically, I'm guessing. A Salamangrate Transcendence. Very cool. I remember Salamangrate was quite big last year, maybe? Still this year? I don't know. We have an abominable chamber of the unchained. I mean, he he looks. If if anything, if I was to describe this man as anything, I would describe him as chained. So, okay, we've got a nebula dragon. Very cool. A a dino wrestler Rambraccio. Uh, oh, I think no, we didn't have that before. Brachiosaurus. Very nice. A Pegasus wing. A tenu spirit. Thana, Thana, Sith, yeah, Thana, okay. Um, we got a Gar Dragon Shield, very cool. No, that's not the rare. We've got a Time Thief Hack. Oh, we pulled another Time Thief card, didn't we? Um, a Salamangrate Foxer. It's like a boxer, but it's a fox, and it doesn't punch people? I don't know. Unchained Soul of Anguish. Hey, is this linked to the other chained or unchained thing. Man, he's cool and ferocious. We've got a Time Thief Winder. Very nice. He's sort of doing a cool cool pose. I think it's a he, isn't it? Uh, we have Gizmek Orochi, the Serpentron Sky Slasher. Sorry, I had to get all that in because like the gold is really reflective. Yo, that's really cool. So... It's like a weird mechanised god that's a snake, also, or something. We've got a Salamangrate Pyro Phoenix. Yo, okay, that's really cool. This Salamander boy. Um, is this a prismatic rare? No. Wait, yes. Wait, no. Um, this is a Dragoonity Knight, Romulus. Hey, named after one of the people that formed Rome. Uh, shout out to Romulus and Remus. They are long dead. And our last card is this one, because I'm an idiot. So it's a Dragoonity card. All right, then. Um, all I know about Dragoonity is they're quite popular, I think, among like the YouTubers I've watched that have opened other packs and stuff. That's, that's pretty darn cool, though, Romulus. Very nice. And uh, we're back to Valkyrie Vietti. Right, well, uh, give me two seconds. So, the question has to be asked, which one was better? Well, I th <laughs> let me know in the comments below of your own thoughts, but I think quite hands down, the Gold Sarcophagus um, won it all. I prefer the design, that's a really cool design and everything, but I think it's a nicer design. Uh, I pulled better stuff, which doesn't really decide on which tin is best to get, I suppose, but I did get the Brawl Sword Dragon, which is pretty cool. Um, and also, I appreciate the whole prismatic rare and two secret rares and stuff in this tin, but I kind of like the um, well, the kind of gimmick of the promo cards, knowing that you know you got a two in six chance. And um, for casual fans like me, it's a bit better because a lot of the promo cards tend to be nostalgic, and it's like, hey, remember the original series? Whereas doing this is kind of more like, hey, Yu-Gi-Oh fans who are up to date with the meta, don't you want these kind of cards? Um, however, I'm sure maybe I've pulled stuff here that people 
would prefer to pull than I did in the gold sarcophagus tin. Uh, all in all though, I'm very much casual when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! So don't take my advice for anything. But that wraps it all up. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a bit of a long video, but I've had a lot of fun. It was definitely worth buying these. As I said, once a year, nice little Yu-Gi-Oh! treat. Um, keep an eye out, I'll be putting out videos again, I'll leave a playlist of my other Yu-Gi-Oh! opening things if you thought my rambling was entertaining. And that's about it, so thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye!